guys, Maricopa Amy here. Today I want to go over my 30 day seller guide. I actually offer a PDF format of this to anybody who's getting ready to potentially sell their house. And it's 30 things you can do within, within 30 days. You can obviously do a lot of them quicker if you're on more of a time crunch, but it's just one thing a day to get your, your house ready to sell within a month. Um, so there are the basics like cleaning and decluttering and making sure that your house looks absolutely pristine for showings and things like that but what I want to go over are the things that you may not think of right off the bat and affect, may affect uh, how people view your house or the transaction process so the first thing that I highly recommend getting done prior to listing your house is all your paperwork you're gonna want to get um, the seller dis property disclosure sheet from your realtor and get that started and filled out because that can be an extensive one to do. You're gonna wanna, if you have an HOA, get all your HOA information and that there's an HOA addendum that your realtor can send you that you can get that filled out prior to too. Just because sometimes HOAs aren't the easiest to get a hold of, not always. Um, get your clue report from your insurance company. That's a really good one to get ahead of time because. It is definitely needed for the whole entire transaction once you get an offer accepted. And there are a few other documents, things that not everybody has to do, like if you are on a septic system, you'll want to get that all, the documents for all of that, and then any receipts for recent uh, big projects you did, like if you remodeled your kitchen, or if you did your backyard, or put a pool in, things like that, you'll want to have all of that prepared as well. Um, yeah, so just any documents you think that you might need to help make the procedure or the transaction process run smoother on your end is a great thing to do. Another thing I highly suggest is getting a spare key made. If you're still going to be living in the house while people are coming in to take a look at it, to potentially put in an offer, you're going to want to have a key for yourself and for your significant other and then one for in the um, lockbox so that agents can be showing your house right away as soon as you get it on market you want to make sure that they can start looking you don't want any hiccups on you know a couple days because there's no key in the lockbox um, one thing that I highly suggest not all agents are gonna say this but this is one thing that I think is really important maybe because of my interior de design background but changing the light bulbs out in your house you want to make sure that when people come in your house is bright, your lights come on, people can see um, the welcoming uh, brightness of the home. You don't want them coming in and having to look at your house when it's pitch black because your light bulbs are all burnt out. So I highly suggest this, it's not a necessity, but I truly feel like it helps give people a better impression of your home. Um, another thing that helps give people a better impression of your home is making sure your front yard and your backyard are are well well taken care of especially the front yard if you think about it the front yard is their first impression why would you want to have weeds and stuff everywhere as the first impression and then have them walk into your beautiful home they're already going to be like well this place isn't taken care of very well subconsciously and that may hinder your ability to get more offers so definitely make sure the front yard is weed free your bushes are trimmed your rocks or grass are nice and neat, and same with your backyard. Make sure your pool, if you have one, is looking sparkly. Um, your grass is nice and clean. Your pavers are washed down. Your furniture looks, um, you know, staged or set up, and um, there's no weeds and things like that in the backyard too. So these are places that sometimes get overlooked because everybody's so concerned about the actual house, but the outside is important too. Okay. And then another thing that you can do, but you don't have to, but I would say you might want to expect um, it to be requested maybe later on in the process is do small repairs. If you have outlets and things like that that are um, cracked or broken, replace the face plates. If you have holes, too many holes in your walls from pictures or things like that, get those filled in and repainted. Um, repaint your baseboards if they're looking pretty dingy or beat up. I know mine do a lot of the time, um, having, you know, two dogs and a child running around here all the time. So any little repairs you can think to do will really help put your house above others just because you took the time prior to uh, listing it to get these little things taken care of and done before people started to come look at your house. Uh, you can do, I, I re another thing I recommend, not all agents do, but it's getting your carpet and tile cleaned. 
these two things, when you get those cleaned prior, it just leaves your house smelling newer and fresher. And everybody likes something that's new and fresh. They don't like uh, the idea of something old. So give your house that little bit of a facelift, a little bit of a fresher smell, and get your carpets and tile cleaned prior to. Um, you could do a pre-listing inspection. I know this may be uh, costly for you because typically, you know, you, the buyers can usually pay for that in the long run, but if you wanna know what you're looking at, potentially being asked to fix and stuff, a pre-listing inspection is not a bad idea. They're gonna, you're gonna be aware of what things people might be asking you to prepare, and you can possibly prepare to for the expense of what that might cost. Uh, get your, do your photos, get good photos of your house. You don't, you don't want to have your house presented as if the agent just took them on their cell phone. Now granted, cell phones can take really great photos, but you want to get the whole scape of the room. You don't want just this corner or that corner or this corner. You want it, you want people to be able to feel what the house looks like from the photos. Uh, if you can get video tours done too, that's always a great option as well. I know some of these things may seem like a lot to put into it, but they're all things that are going to help you get top dollar for your house. And that's that's what's important is you, you wanna make sure that your house is presented the way you wanna present it and presented to its fullest extent. So why not take these extra little steps prior to getting it on the market and do what's best for you and your family and get you, get the most for the house that you're selling. I mean, you've lived here for however long, now make someone else wanna live there. So um, again, all of this is explained in my 30 day seller guide. It is free to whoever wants it. You just have to send me a text message or call me at 480-577-4496 and I'll happily send it to you. Or you can send me an email at amy at sienna s i e n n a homegroup.com or if you go to my website which is www.naricopaamy.com it'll pop up on the first page where you can request that too and you just fill out the information and then i'll send it to you so if you have any questions or if you're ready to sell your house give me a call i'm ready to help you move on to your next adventure talk to you soon